Wendy Williams speaking out on Diddy's arrest, telling Daily Mail it's about time the embattled music mogul was investigated. Oh, Jay Versace has quite recently added to the tales with claims that while visiting Diddy at his home months prior, the rapper bent him over on his monster outside bed. Recently, there have been ongoing rumors surrounding Diddy's sexuality despite his public interactions with numerous women. The latest addition to these rumors come from a 25-year-old Jay Versace, a well-known American social media personality celebrated for his comedic content. Now, get this. Jay Versace recently made comments suggesting that during a visit to Diddy's Los Angeles mansion months ago, the rapper made unwanted advances towards him. During Jay Versace's peak of fame, Diddy invited Jay to a party at his Los Angeles mansion where Diddy is known for throwing really weird parties. One of them had a picture of a large bed placed outside on the lawn where a group of TikTokers shared a throwback picture of themselves having fun on this outdoor bed. Ooh, wait, 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 it gets even better because Jay Versace entered the comment section of the post and made some shocking claims about Diddy. Jay, who is openly gay, alleged that Diddy had him bent over on the bed during his visit. Oh my. Goodness, what is going on? You mean to tell me that Jay Versace was on Diddy's big blow up bed, booty cheeks wide open, just getting ready for Diddy to pounce? This is field speculation about Diddy's sexuality and his interactions with individuals, particularly in private settings. What you say? What you say? No break. On Monday, federal agents raided Sean P. Diddy Combs' multi-million dollar mansions in LA and Miami. It was carried out by the Department of Homeland Security team that handles human trafficking crimes. A number of electronic devices were seized. While Diddy has not been arrested, a key member in his entourage, Brendan Paul, was while with Diddy at Opalaka Executive Airport. Lately, many allegations of sexual assault and misconduct have surfaced against Diddy that add up to a history of controversy and accusations surrounding him. There were claims coming from a lawsuit filed in federal court in New York by this former longtime girlfriend who accuses him of some nasty things. The lawsuit brings serious allegations against Diddy, suggesting a pattern of abusive behavior towards women. Ugh, what's new? B singer Cassie has accused hip hop mogul Sean Diddy Combs of rape and a decade of physical abuse. The two were romantically involved for years, but in a lawsuit made public today, Cassie says there was a pattern of control, drug use, and forced sexual encounters. Now, Cassie's claiming that Met, Met Gala behind the scenes, the award shows, the relationship was fraught with abuse and intimidation. Because Cassie's lawsuit reveals disturbing details about the freak offs orchestrated by Diddy involving costumes and recorded encounters with male escorts. The requirement for Cassie to wear white nail polish to contrast her skin with men's implies a fetishistic element to these encounters that is purely maniacal. The fact that Diddy allegedly recorded these encounters and kept control of the videos added another layer of manipulation and control that is out of this world. The allegations also extended to Usher, who reportedly contracted an S. STD from the Diddler. This claim, if true, adds to the narrative of Diddy's harmful behavior towards those around him. Now, what most people don't know is that Usher's mother actually confronted Diddy about the alleged STD transmission, highlighting the seriousness of the situation. Usher went to stay with Puffy. Now, that was a business decision right there because I didn't know Puffy. I didn't know him. Moreover, stories from individuals like Columbus Short and Ed Lover provide additional context to Diddy's behavior. But you know, my wife looking at me like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Who is that? Pick, yeah, pick that up. <laughs> oh, know about this. So I put it on speaker. Yeah. <laughs> I picked it up. I, I, I said, who is this? It's Sean. I'm like, Sean, it's Puff. I'm like, oh, what's good? You're talking low like that? You're talking low. So I was... <laughs> So I was like, hey, what's good? I said, what's cracking? He said, oh, we didn't see you. We didn't see you tonight at the BET Awards. We didn't see you tonight. He said, uh, You're checking uh, in. He said, what, 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 you, what you doing? I was like, oh, man, I'm at the crib. He said, oh, yeah, we over here at the, um, he said, I'm over here at the, um, the Beverly Hills Hotel. I said, oh, for real? So who over there? Short's account of witnessing Usher drinking at a club with Diddy at a young age suggests a concerning lack of oversight and responsibility on Diddy's part. These allegations are not isolated incidents, but part of a larger pattern of behavior that includes Diddy's alleged involvement in the gay community. Reports from individuals like Gene Deal, Jaguar Wright, who all claim to have witnessed Diddy engaging in very questionable behavior. They have left their house screaming to get away from them and their mentorship. Meek Mills. 
Bashir Gray. Okay, let's just be honest, guys. We've all known this about Diddy, but here's the problem. It's the people that are speaking out. These people are actually in Diddy's inner circle, and that's what's giving all of these allegations so much more weight. You know, saying, you know, he is innocent until proven guilty. Uh, I, I believe in that. I right. believe in innocent before proven guilty. Sure. One of the key figures speaking out against Diddy is rapper 50 Cent, who has been very vocal about this entire thing and his disdain for the music mogul. Say that to me, I get a little uncomfortable. <laughs> when you see, you see Jay the kids put his head down like, <laughs> while we, we stuck here right now and the cameras is rolling, everybody see, don't make like it's just me, man. <laughs> 50 Cent revealed how Diddy allegedly abused Cassie, his ex-girlfriend, and made derogatory comments towards her. I told you. I know your dad for a long time. He did that. He guilty as fuck. On, on the up and up, the nigga pop like he called. We should kick it on the telephone and shit after the main shit. Right, right. And and the nigga be like, matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures, like pictures of his girl, like not the shit that y'all saw. Worse, way worse. <laughs> Wow. Are you kidding me, yo? Like penetration pictures and, and... Nah, come on, man. Come on, Fifth. <laughs> All that. And I didn't even... I didn't even... I called the nigga. I said, yo, you really... You fucking with this girl? Like, you really... Like, you like her? Like that? And he was like, yeah. That's, that's my girl. I'm like, all right. I'm gonna send you something. However, the drama didn't end there. Producer Rodney Jones later came forward, alleging that Diddy sexually assaulted him and forced him into uncomfortable situations. Hello, everyone. Um, until further notice, I will not be performing at any gigs or anything like that. Um, for security reasons, my family, friends, and everyone close to me just feels like there's a lot of potential threats and everybody's just telling me what he's allegedly capable of. And, you know, it's very scary um, for myself and, you know, it has me worried about my kids and, you know, just sleeping with anxiety and different things like that so just moving forward in her lawsuit cassie made several alarming accusations against diddy she claimed he physically abused her multiple times including an incident where he allegedly kicked her in the face enough times to draw blood cassie also accused diddy of coercing her into engaging in acts with prostitutes which he recorded without her consent oh yeah and uh yeah let's not forget the lawsuit also mentioned an incident involving kid cuddy whom cassie dated in 2012 allegedly diddy was so upset about their relationship that he mentioned wanting to blow up kid cuddy car which he actually did when Kid Cudi confirmed the incident through a spokeswoman. When Diddy found out he allegedly beat her threatened to blow up Kid Cudi's car. Uh, the filing then says shortly after Diddy's threat Kid Cudi's car actually blew up. But wait, I need you guys to literally hold on to your seatbelts because perhaps one of the most shocking accusations was that Diddy had access to Cassie's medical records. She claimed that when she underwent an MRI scan to explain her memory loss, which she believed was caused by drug use or physical abuse from Diddy, the results were sent directly to Diddy. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. But wait, 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 it gets so much better because another disturbing claim that most people don't know is that Diddy paid a hotel $50,000 for footage of him assaulting Cassie. During one of their encounters, Cassie said Diddy punched her in the face, giving her a black eye. She attempted to leave the room, but Diddy followed her and threw glass faces at her in the hallway. Oh my goodness, poor thing. Months after Cassie's lawsuit was settled, producer Little Rod also accused Diddy of sexual assault. Little Rod claimed that Diddy subjected him to unsolicited growth groping and pressuring him into doing things that let's just say are not appropriate. Rodney Jones is a former producer and videographer for Diddy. He is claiming that Diddy repeatedly sexually assaulted him. Um, this lawsuit is so long. It's so many, like, it's so many things that, you know, he's claiming Diddy did. Um, upon those claims, he claimed that Diddy groped his genitals and touched his butt. He believes that Diddy was grooming him to have sex. Uh, he says that Diddy downplayed it just like he as a joke like yeah we just playing around diddy's lawyer denied these allegations calling them pure fiction and promising to address them in court it's your lawyer that's his job well we're now hearing from diddy's attorney who's essentially calling all of this a witch hunt um and he, basically he thinks that none of this is warranted it's an extreme show of force that's over the top and colleen in a statement just released from combs's attorney says there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at mr combs's residences 
is. The statement goes on to say this is nothing more than a witch hunt and that Mr. Combs is innocent and will fight. You thought that was deep? Yeah, now I'm really going to get into it because back in the 90s, a woman named Joy Dickerson Neal accused Diddy of assault. Neal claimed that Diddy had spiked her drink and assaulted her filming the act and sending the videos to others. This alleged incident, along with other accusations, paints a troubling picture of Diddy's behavior towards women. Joy said that she was a student at Syracuse University in 1991 and claimed that Diddy slipped something into her drink and then proceeded to essay her and film the act. And Dickerson Neal's friend allegedly saw the recording. Devante Swing, who was a member of a popular 90s R&B group at the time, revealed to Dickerson Neal that he had viewed the tape along with other people. Dickerson Neal said that Swing feared his band would lose its record deal if he spoke against Combs. And Diddy's representative also denies these claims. One thing I will say is that the timing of the filings is a bit sus. Now, in addition to these allegations, Era claims that Diddy has a history of abusive relationships with other women, including Kim Porter, the mother of his children. Reports suggest that Diddy physically abused Porter, breaking her nose in one incident. Despite these allegations, Porter remained close to Diddy, highlighting the complex dynamics of the abusive relationship. Okay, guys, here are my thoughts. First of all, Jay. You're getting it first because why in the world are you at Diddy's house on Diddy's big blow up bed bent over, okay? Like, can you please explain to me why, you, like, I, don't talk, don't speak, don't say anything because you came. He did not tie your hands up and say, get in the car, get in the trunk. I'm taking you to my house and we're going to have a good time. You came there willingly and you knew what it was. We've all known this about Diddy. Yes, I understand more things have came out, but come on, seriously, everybody knows about those parties and not to go to them. Okay. Second, the amount of just allegations and things that are coming out and revealing itself about this lawsuit and about all of this nonsense is literally crazy to me. But you want to know what's even crazy?